channel, we focus primarily on electric bikes. It's a cool emerging market. You guys like the topics I discuss, but I do have the objective of extending this electrification theme to vans and being the first e-van lifer on YouTube. I think that can make for awesome content. The only thing holding me back from doing e-van life is the lack of electric vans. Here in the US, the selection is still very slim, but this is beginning to change. And today I simply wanna share with you guys my research to identify what's the best electric vans on the US market today and what's about to be hitting the market that you might wanna wait for. If you guys enjoyed the video, I always appreciate the like. It helps out a lot with the algorithm and it lets me know that you guys are interested in this topic. But getting right into this, there's a ton of uh, startup companies trying to make electric vans here in the US. Uh, one of the bigger well-known ones is Canoe. They're going to be making a lifestyle vehicle, which is a more traditional passenger van, a multi-purpose delivery vehicle. If you click into this one, we can see more details if the website works. So with this model, it's more utilitarian. They have uh, commercial customers in mind, but I do like how they keep the vehicle very bare bones and modular for any use case. And they're also going to have an electric pickup, which is very similar to the lifestyle vehicle, same kind of basic platform, but a pickup shape. So the lifestyle vehicle has a beginning MSRP of 40,000 bucks, pretty competitive, a range of 200 miles, 350 horsepower, and 121 cubic feet of cargo volume. And I have to give Canoe props here because they're essentially redesigning a vehicle from the ground up to be electric. And that's why it looks so funky and yet so practical. But as much as I love Canoe and what they're doing here, the company has yet to deliver a product. And if I had a guess, I think the company's probably gonna go bankrupt before they ever hit the market, unfortunately. Another one of these startup companies that makes electric vans is Arrival. Just like with Canoe, they are being very uh, innovative with their design and what electric vehicles can be. They're also manufacturing a bus and a car, but just like with Canoe, you cannot buy these vans right now and there's no guarantee the company's going to be successful. Another new option here is Bright Drop Zevo. The design is much more conservative, but you can still tell that this is clearly an electric vehicle. And on their website, they give a quoted range of 250 miles. That's pretty decent, not industry leading, but good for a van of this size. But again, unfortunately, there's no option to buy this vehicle right now. So when it comes to those three previous options, they are very innovative. I like what they're trying to do, but I'm not gonna be holding my breath for them because I think the probability of them hitting the market at all or anytime soon is pretty low. Now this next one is guaranteed to hit the market because it's already for sale in Europe and it's coming to America in 2024. And this of course is the Volkswagen ID Buzz. You can tell by looking at it that this is a throwback to their old legacy uh, buses, but it's fully electric and it's a very compelling package. The second realistic electric van here is the Ford E-Transit. And this you can actually buy right now, assuming no uh, back ordering issues. And the third legit electric van you can buy soon is the new Mercedes-Benz E-Sprinter. And this is the exact same concept as the E-Transit. They took the existing Sprinter chassis and electrified it. So putting these three realistic electric vans side by side, this is what we're looking at. We have the Volkswagen ID Buzz, the Mercedes E Sprinter, and the Ford E Transit. In terms of the specifications, the ID Buzz is going to have a battery capacity, a usable battery capacity of 77 kilowatt hours. And they are claiming that should give you a maximum range of 258 miles per charge. And that's pretty good in my opinion. Anything over 200, 250 miles, right now at least, is acceptable. I know there's some Teslas, for example, that have 300 plus miles of range, but when it comes to a larger bulky van, 250 miles of range is not bad. Now the charging speed is very important when you have such a massive battery, and this has a maximum charge rate of 170 kilowatts, and that should be enough power to bring you from 5% to 80% in just 30 minutes. Of course, we would all love to see this number be five minutes, and I'm sure eventually in the future, we will get down to that kind of a speed. But for now, 30 minutes and essentially being fully charged with a battery capacity of 77 kilowatts 
really isn't that bad. In terms of the power, this is rated at 150 kilowatts of peak power, and the starting MSRP is 45 grand. But do remember that there is a $7,500 tax credit for all of these vehicles, which will knock down this price tag. So that's the Volkswagen ID Buzz, a very compelling electric van for everyday use, as well as van life, in my opinion. Now comparing that to the next one, this is the upcoming E Sprinter. And this has a quoted battery capacity of 113 kilowatt hours. And eventually, at some point, they're going to have other battery capacities available, like this one at 81 kilowatt hours. Now, both of these options are larger than the battery in the Volkswagen ID Buzz. But do keep in mind that the actual vehicle here is a lot larger, so you're going to need more power to do the same amount of miles. And that's why the quoted range for the larger battery capacity is 248 miles, almost identical to the range in the Volkswagen ID Buzz. And this can charge at a rate of 115 kilowatts, which is notably slower than the ID Buzz, although 100 plus kilowatts of charging speed isn't that bad. And that's why you can go from 10 to 80% in 42 minutes. And the motor power here, they're gonna have a couple of different models, but it's gonna range from 100 to 150 kilowatts. Now we don't have a definitive price tag yet for the E Sprinter, but it's gonna start at at least $50,000 and it's gonna very likely with a bigger battery capacity and different options be well above that price tag. But again, this will give you access to that same $7,500 uh, tax credit deduction. And then finally, when it comes to realistic electric vans you can buy, actually right now, we have the Ford E-Transit. And as you can probably tell, this and the Sprinter are direct competitors. They're in the same class. Uh, here, the battery capacity is only 68 kilowatt hours. And as of right now, there's no option for a larger capacity version. This is the only one they sell, and it has a quarter range of only 126 miles. Comparing that to the e Sprinter, we have uh, a couple of battery options and much larger range. Luckily, the charging speed is the exact same at 115 kilowatts. That brings you from 15% battery to 80% in 34 minutes. And the E-Transit actually has the highest motor power at 198 kilowatts versus a peak of 150 in the e Sprinter and 150 in the ID Buzz. And because this van is currently for sale, we know that the starting MSRP is 50,000 bucks before any options. So there you have it guys. The date right now is February 16th, 2023. And if you're looking to buy an electric van to do e-van life like myself, or just to use in everyday life, these are the three realistic options that you can either buy now or very soon here in the United States. The Volkswagen ID Buzz is by far the smallest van on this list, but if you're looking to drive it every day, commute with it, it's, I would say, the most practical option. But if you're like me and looking to do e-van life, I think the Mercedes e Sprinter, due to the larger optional battery capacity, is the clear winner. The 126 mile range in the e Transit, it's okay for getting around town, but for long distance traveling, it's gonna be more challenging, even with the relatively fast charging at 115 kilowatts. The only question I have is how much are they gonna charge for the larger battery capacity version? The starting price of roughly 50,000 bucks is definitely not gonna be for that model. But as long as they can keep the price tag reasonable, this might become the new best electric van on the market when it releases later on this year. But of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.